Sponsorship for this program provided by the Ed and Don DeCarbo Funeral Home and Crematory Incorporated with two locations, 941 South Mill Street, Newcastle and 3000 Wilmington Road, Neshanic Township. Good morning. Today is Friday of the second week of Advent, and it is the Feast of St. Juan Diego. Our celebrant today is Father Ben Barr, and the Mass is offered for Patricia Marangoni, as requested by Joan Blasucci. Please rise as we pray our St. Michael prayer. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. <clears throat> Protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In your strength, O Lord, the just one rejoices. How greatly your salvation makes him glad. You have granted him his soul's desire. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In your strength, O Lord, the just one rejoices. How greatly your salvation makes him glad. You have granted him his soul's desire. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by means of St. Juan Diego showed the love of the Most Holy Virgin Mary for your people, grant through his intercession that by following the counsels our mother gave at Guadalupe, we may be ever constant in fulfilling your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I, the Lord your God, teach you what is for your good and lead you on the way you should go. If you would hearken to my commands, your prosperity would be like a river and your vindication like the waves of the sea. Your descendants would be like the sand, and those born of your stock like its grains, their name never cut off or blotted out from my presence. The word of the Lord. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Blessed the one who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who follow you, Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord will come, go out to meet him. He is the Prince of Peace. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds, To what shall I compare this generation? It is like children who sit in marketplaces and call to one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they said, He is possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they said, Look, he is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. 
but wisdom is vindicated by her works. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Good morning. I had to remind myself repeatedly both yesterday and this morning when I was thinking about my homily, but just more generally about today's celebration. Today is not, and I wrote in my notes, all capitals, not underlined the Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe. As most of you are probably aware, that's this coming Monday, December 12th. But sometimes there can be that temptation, and I think in thinking about past homilies that I've given when we celebrate St. Juan Diego, I've made not the mistake, I wouldn't call it a mistake, but I've fallen into the easy temptation of talking more about the what's called the Guadalupe event or preaching about Our Lady of Guadalupe, and I had to write myself the note, today is not the feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Today we honor St. Juan Diego, of course very closely associated with the events of Our Lady of Guadalupe. He's the saint, he's the Marian visionary to whom our Blessed Mother appeared, but that's what we're celebrating today, St. Juan Diego. It's one of those rare instances, I think, where because of what has become associated with him, he sort of, in a way, a good way, fades to the background, but at the same time, I think he, he merits some mention. Sister Veronica this morning, and it's true of the Magnificat as well, if you look at the Magnificat, it doesn't list today's optional memorial, which I thought, well, that's a little odd. If I were Juan Diego, I wouldn't be too happy with Magnificat. But she said, oh, I really like St. Juan Diego. And I said, well, good, because today's Mass is the commemoration of St. Juan Diego, and we are doing that, because even though we're in the privileged season of Advent, that doesn't mean that we just ignore our saints. You will notice the readings for today were as they should be from the normal sequence of readings for Advent, and also the preface, even though we're doing the optional memorial of a saint, the preface has to come from Advent. So if you're thinking, oh, maybe he forgot. No, I looked, and it says you have to do the preface for Advent. As I always do, I would encourage you to go and read, whether from Wikipedia or somewhere else, read the entire biography of St. Juan Diego. It's actually rather lengthy, and I'll mention in a moment why. Focus, obviously, on his life and focus on the great gift that he was given by the appearance to him of our Blessed Mother. But you'll notice as well there's a lot of historical context is the way I would usually refer to that. And a lot of it has to do with what we might call controversies, one could call it skepticism, whether it was about the apparition of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of Guadalupe, or even about the life of St. Juan Diego. Now we're talking close to, well, let's see, I'm not good at math. Anyway, it was just before the founding of America when all of this took place, just before the discovery of 1474, I think. 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue, right? It's early, that's right, right? What do you, I see, what are you doing? Is that wrong? 1492, yeah, that's, I didn't, that didn't seem right to me, sorry. I'm a little foggy this morning. So we're talking about before technically even the discovery of America when all of this started to take place. And what you see though in sort of uh, a looking back on all of this is a lot of tendency to throw doubt and to throw skepticism. Well, you know, certain historical documents don't mention the apparition of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Certain people in their own historical recordings, the bishop, for example, didn't mention this. But I think it's important to recognize, first of all, when it comes to St. Juan Diego himself, God doesn't choose those that are necessarily deemed important in the eyes of the world. The way it referred to him, he wasn't destitute, we're not talking about someone who lived in squalor, but he was a peasant. He was an indigenous peasant. He was not a person of any importance in the eyes of the world, and yet this is the person that God chose 
to make his message of Our Lady of Guadalupe known. And I wrote down, faith is more important than fame. And if those accounts of the person of St. Juan Diego are to be believed as true, he was a person of sincere and of simple faith. And it's that person that our Blessed Mother chose to make herself known to, not the bishop, not whatever other Spaniard or other person of influence might have been present. It was to this individual. Again, whether it's the historicity of the event itself, whether it's the canonization of Juan Diego, what you see in any of those processes is that simple, enduring faith matters a lot more than sort of the elaborate bureaucratic processes that either recognize an event as valid, not that that isn't important, but either that recognize an event as valid or lead to the recognition of someone as a saint. And again, I'm not taking anything away from the process. It is an important process. But what we do know is that devotion to Our Lady of Guadalupe and recognition of St. Juan Diego's role in all of that way before any of the processes for his canonization started, way before any formal recognition of the Church, of the validity of our Blessed Mother's appearance to St. Juan Diego, the native people were already developing what we would refer to as a cult, not in some negative sense. That is a word that we use as Catholics. There was already a cult, a cultus, to Our Lady of Guadalupe long before any of that started, and there was recognition of the importance that Juan Diego, Saint Juan Diego played in that whole process. So while all of those other things, they're not unimportant, it's a good lesson for us that what mattered most was the humility of an individual believer to whom our Blessed Mother made herself and her message known, and the simple faith of those who from the beginning, from the first instance of that occurrence, began to believe and began to develop, as it were, that cult around the event. So all of those important other things matter, but I think the lesson for us is what matters more is that simple faith and that sincere faith. If you look at what we're going to celebrate in two weeks now, I guess it's almost under two weeks, we'll celebrate Christmas. God did not become man in some elaborate display. He didn't come riding in on a white elephant with fireworks and however else we would envision God coming to earth in the form of Jesus Christ. Hopefully you set up a nativity scene in your home. Certainly we have one in our churches. And always look at that nativity scene and remember, of all of the means that God could have chosen to become man, of all of the circumstances in which that could have taken place, what do we see? A very simple scene, a manger, a father and a mother, and that's pretty much it. Very humble and very simple beginnings. Even God himself did not deem himself above the humble circumstances that we face, the simple, dignified realities of human life, humble beginnings even for God himself. And so as we continue to anticipate Christmas, as we continue to prepare for Christmas, what is it that God tells us he desires most from us? Hearts contrite and humble a heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Make that simplicity of faith, make that humility of heart one of the things that hopefully will carry us faithfully through the rest of this season of Advent and into the joyful celebration of Christmas. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Saint Juan Diego. Christ preaches the good news of the gospel and challenges us to choose the life he offers. Let us pray for the gift of wisdom to choose correctly. We pray for the church and for all who have been anointed her leaders 
and for all who share in the one baptism we profess. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for world leaders. May the birth of Jesus inspire them in the ways of humility and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are suffering with physical illness and for those who suffer with emotional stress. That the light of Christ coming into the world will bring them consolation and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of us gathered here in this holy place. May God create in each of us a contrite spirit that is pleasing to him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Patricia Marangoni, for whom this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all those who have died. May the Lord of perfect love welcome them into his presence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now we pause for you to add your personal intention. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray our parish prayer. Lord Jesus, you told us that where your treasure is, there your heart is also. The parish of Holy Spirit treasures our faith in you, our children, and every person who gathers here. Help us to have the courage to sacrifice, to love, and to build in your name. Guide us by your spirit of wisdom. Give success to the work of our hands and keep us in your peace. Saints, martyrs, and Mary, our mother, pray for us. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Through the present oblation, O Lord, which we offer in commemoration of blessed Juan Diego, bestow on your faithful, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hope. 
and so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, with William, William, and Mark, his assisting bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me, says the Lord.
Let us pray. <clears throat> May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, in commemoration of blessed Juan Diego, sanctify our minds and hearts that we may merit to be made sharers in the divine nature, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Sponsorship for this program provided by the Ed and Don DeCarbo Funeral Home and Crematory Incorporated with two locations, 941 South Mill Street, Newcastle and 3000 Wilmington Road, Neshanic Township.